Fire time. Just a new sense of hope. I'm Greg Ovens. I'm Amos Rodriguez. And this is the 30 day survival challenge, Vancouver Island. There's only one rule. If you want to eat, you're going to have to catch and cook it first. Uh, sure. Cheers, man. If you're just tuning in, don't forget to check out the link in the description below for the series playlist so you can start on episode one. And when this episode's over, check out that playlist and you can watch Amos's side of the adventure. Good morning. And man, oh man, did it rain yesterday. We couldn't really do anything. It was just a downpour all day. Wind blowing the tarps and... Well, it was easy to make coffee. Uh, just hold the pot there for two seconds and you got your coffee water. But today it is sunny out. So we might have to go back fishing. We don't know what the weather is going to be like. So any sunny day like this, we should get out and probably try to get some fish. I'm sure they're going to lift this ban and we can actually cook some fish up on the fire and do something on the fire would be nice. Sun is shining. Yeah, maybe we should go fishing. Maybe we should go fishing, man. this storm. Yeah. I thought we were going to have to build an ark. Yeah. <laughs> we started already with this we, we got enough wood here for an ark, but yeah. uh, it would take quite a while to build. So we're taking advantage of the sunny weather. We're going to go to the fishing spot again. And hopefully I can catch a salmon this time. You guys are probably getting restless seeing me fish and not catch anything. Always the same difficult hike. Well, I mean, there's a, a good trail, but it's just a long hike up and then down and around. Little caterpillar. The bear's been eating a lot of huckleberries. Get out of there. So we decided to hike this kind of obscure old logging road trail kind of deal because we know there's a lake in here. We haven't been able to find it, but we're gonna walk in here a bit, see if we can't find this lake. Uh, because then maybe we can get some trout just to add to the adventure, add to the variety. Not supposed to be too far, I don't think, by the looks of the maps, from where we are, from where we go fishing every day. So we kind of veered off on this other trail, and we're going to check it out for a little bit. Yeah, we've gone quite a ways, and we see the lake. But so far, it doesn't look like there's any easy way to get to it. So, um, boy, I don't know how far we've gone. So those uh, little mushrooms that I showed you there on the ground are the beginning of puffballs. They start off with that little stem, little button on the top, but then they turn into the bigger puffballs. So... There's lots of those around, so we're definitely probably going to have another feast of puffballs. All the rain we've been having, we're bound to have a lot more mushrooms now. This was a bit of a sidetrack, taking this trail to try to find the lake. We can see it, but it's still going to be bushwhacking to get to that lake. So, But nothing's easy on Vancouver Island in this thick bush. It's just almost impossible to get through spots. The weather's changed and it's starting to rain and I didn't bring a coat. That's not ideal. See what happens. See how wet I can get. I'll just try near the river here for a bit because... Oh, I see salmon jumping and I don't know if that's a most caught another one. Fish are jumping closer to the ocean over here. 
but this is not going to be good for me. Got a storm rolling in again. Can't win. Try something else, I guess. Back to my MEP spinner. A little chilled, a little chilled. See blue sky, it might clear up again. Now we're getting that torrential rain again. So I'm gonna find a place to sit. Let a moose fish. He seems to be catching them anyway. Maybe I can weather it under a tree somewhere. I like I always advocate big trees. You can see. We got lots of shelter here. I think it's just a temporary thing, but I don't want to get soaked in the meantime because it's pouring out again. And this is even better. I'm kind of right under the root of this big overhanging tree that's leaning Poof, perfect here not even a drop just coming down it'd suck to be a moose out there even though he's got a coat because this is the kind of rain that'll just get through almost anything even raincoat the weather just changes this time of year so fast i mean it was beautiful and then all of a sudden, bang, the clouds roll in and we got all this rain again. So it's just something we have to deal with. But I'm not going to deal with it out there when I can be under this big stump here. I'm not into hypothermia. This is exactly what happens to hikers that get lost or have to spend a night. They go unprepared, no raincoat. They're in shorts and a t-shirt because it's warm and sunny. And then a storm like this rolls in and people die every year hiking around of hypothermia because they weren't prepared. And I'm not prepared either, but uh, you know, under this tree, I can dry out and never leave home without a lighter. Like I keep saying, because you can at least start a fire if, even if you're unprepared, fire ban or not, if your life's on the line, you're gonna have a fire to dry out and keep from getting hypothermia. Oh boy, so I go back to check on that moose. He had a lingcod, I just get there. He caught a big salmon, another nice salmon. The guy's a killer fisherman, obviously. So I'm trying to get footage of it with his GoPro on the pole and I'm standing on the rocks and a wave came up and hit me all the way up to my waist. So now I'm soaking wet. Just what I needed when I was already cold and wet. Filled my boots right up. Like this is ridiculous. Look at this. Yeah. Not really what I wanted when I'm already wet and cold. But he got a fish. A nice coho again. I am just not sure what's going on here. It's like there's some kind of curse. Every time I go near the ocean, a big wave splashes me gets me soaked and I cannot even get a bite when it comes to fishing he's just pulling them in left and right I'm using the same gear it's like there's some kind of curse going on here and I don't know what it is we have this phone number it's been raining so much we're thinking okay we got to check on this fireman okay it's it's just a recording hey Fire ban was lifted yesterday, man. Awesome. Okay, man. But the fire ban's off, man. Right on. Right on. All right, we could have had a fire yesterday. But now, since we're soaked, we can dry our clothes and cook, man. Fire time. Oh boy, fire! We've created fire!
one thing you'll notice is behind me we have no shortage of wood. We are going to bathe in excitement for styling. Just a new sense of hope now that we can have fire. Like it's just so discouraging if you can't have fire and everything's so wet. Demoralizing is what it is. As far as the smoker goes, it'll be five times faster, more. Uh, dry our clothes out when it's pouring rain. Thank goodness. I'll never take fire for granted again. So how's it looking? Oh, I'm creating extra smoke with leaves of alder, green alder, and everything is looking pretty decent, man. The fish starting, oh, not good. <laughs> the fish started to get a smoke on. Oh, oh man, you keep, keep dropping, dropping them. It. Okay, well, I'm going to eat that one, then. <laughs> that one is that good. One. <laughs> okay, we got more fish now. Now we have some fish, yeah. Thanks, thanks for the fish. Mm. That is so good. Wow. Right? Yeah. Man, is that so good. good. But now we can smoke stuff even faster. We can use fire. That was a real nuisance with the pan and the Coleman. Burned up so much propane. I ruined the frying pan pretty much, but it was working. You really have to explain how good this is. People wouldn't even understand. After you've been hungry and hiking so much and then waiting so many hours on the smoker. Mmm. Unbelievable. Perfect job. Unreal. So nice and moist too, eh? Mmm, right now. Just the outside, a little smoke, mm -hmm. but moist in the inside. Fire's getting a little oh, yeah. big, maybe it could catch things on fire. Yeah, leaves. You, you know about burning shelters down, don't you? I do have a, <laughs> an, an idea or two about that. <laughs> what happened to the big pile of logs in that place? Oh, <laughs> they had a smoker. This is a good batch. So good skin you can have. Oh, I'm just enjoying having this fire, man. We finally have one, man. We got one more to cook over here, over the fire. We'll cook it before dinner. I think, I think we need to cook some of it up. Yeah, right? totally. I'm pretty, uh, pretty hungry. Yeah. It's a... Uh, That's what? a lot of hiking just to go get fish. Well, wow, I mean, you say just, but we need the fish, but that is a long hike. But we got fish to fry tonight. Oh, we'll over the fire. I'm sure glad you're catching fish. <laughs> I, I started feeling cursed. <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, well, this can't be happening. I don't get any bites. You, every time I come to see you, you've got a fish on. That's Just crazy. right then. How can that be? <laughs> and then I go down to try to catch a fish for you and I get splashed by a wave. Yeah, this that's is, so weird. This is what's happening to me. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> yeah, but oh, that's well. true. You, you haven't had luck out there, but we haven't put a good day in it, you know. It's always been pretty quick. Now we can have fires, so. Yeah, exactly. 
Uh, I think our luck's about to change. Yeah. I got a, I want to catch a spring. Yeah. So we have this plan. We're going to go back into town, a little town over here, not, well, maybe an hour's drive. But it's not even a town. There is one store. It's all crown land except for three little houses. But what we want to do is rent another kayak for a moose. And we want to take a river trip where the big springs might be hanging out. Yeah, we've been thinking about it. He already has got a kayak on this car. We have to charge one of our battery packs because we need to keep charging batteries. So might as well rent a kayak and make an adventure of it. So we can come back with two kayaks, drop off at the river and go try to catch the big fish out in the ocean. Mm -hmm. You know, because we've been in this location quite a while, we want to give you something else on the series too. So a little river adventure would be really cool. This is really good to be able to dry our boots and it lifts our spirits up so much just to be able to have a fire to cook on. Now Moses can dry his bow out. So I harvested this when he was a living branch. The branch out of a tree so it was soaking wet, it was dripping water. Now it's getting a little bit drier but it's not the dryness we need it. So we will slowly Put them on the fire, back and forth. I'm gonna brace it backwards and do this over and over and over in front of the fire. I'll use the headlamp now. Gotta go and clean the ling cod. Nice fireweed. Just gotta be careful in the dark on these logs. It's pretty slippery. Fin does good. Come on, Finn. I want you with me in case of bears. Not much guts on these kind of fish. But hard to pull out. And that's about it, really. Finn, where'd you go, you coward? Sneaking off. Are you thinking like hang both fish there? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because there's a, quite a bit of heat. Probably, yeah, yeah. Uh, and quite a bit of smoke, so. Well, there's an item that doesn't get used very often. Not in a survival situation. I had to bring a brush, you know, to keep looking pretty. Yeah, that's it. I want to take advantage of the smoke and the heat of the fire and also keep it away from predators like mice. <laughs> well, it's the mice. I mean, you know, we know that, right? All right. Here's the first one. Let's see. As long as it can hold uh, your big fish, I don't know. I'm going to give it a pre-smoke. This is fresh, fresh today, clean fish. And now we can have a fire here. So we made a little rack where all the smoke is kind of like circling Let's try up. To stabilize it. Look how cool that looks. Huh. Oh my gosh. We should be happy. We got food. 
nobody goes hungry on your shift. No, 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 my watch, man, no. <laughs> no, if I have water. <laughs> this will make good soup and good steaks, maybe more in the smoker tomorrow. Yeah. Because I want to take... I, I wouldn't mind a chunk, like, for breakfast. I like this tail without bones. That's right, you like the tail. So, yeah, you know, I want to smoke some so we can take a snack. When we are kayaking, we're going to be struggling to get this big spring salmon out of the water, so we're going to need a snack. <laughs> oh yeah, we will. <laughs> There's no doubt. That was an awesome day. You know, I'm going to be totally honest. I was getting a little frustrated getting wet and uh, the hikes, you know, you start to get tired and things get on you, start to irritate you, but so I had a bad day, but it ended beautiful. We can have a fire now. And I think that lifted my spirits probably 50%, just bang. As soon as I knew we had a, were able to have fires, it was a night and day as far as my uh, state of mind went. The time is flying. We're having a great time. We're getting along great. We both got a smile on our face tonight, going to bed. See you in the morning. I love the bush through and through If you don't like it, there's something wrong with you Morning. Looks like it's gonna be sunny. A little bit of cloud here and there. It changes off and on. Oh, crying out loud. Going to build my fish set line trap today, for sure. I uh, imagine I'm also keep working on his bow because the time is actually going quite quickly uh, there's days where I feel a little lightheaded fatigued this is about the time and in, in the uh, adventure where I start thinking about pizza and things like that hamburgers Get off the smoker, please. Still spillage. So much for my spout. So now we're allowed fires. Only be, <clears throat> the only problem will be where to find firewood. Well, I'm just going to look for the parts for my uh, fishing set line. Probably only catch uh, ling cod on it. Uh, the salmon, they want movement with the lure and everything else. I think this guy will work for my two side posts. Dovetails, that's what we're doing. Which should make it tighter than just tying it with paracord. I love making set line fish traps. If you're in a survival situation, you can set several up. They'll do the fishing for you. Automatically set the hook. So important to know some of these traps. you can see I got a nice dovetail just got to clean it up isn't that a beauty I'm gonna need four like that
because I want a tight fit. Now look at how tight that is. Can't even move it. There we go. Maybe I should have used the straight piece. Well, I had it figured, man. Yeah, I gotta find a straight piece. This is not gonna work. That'll work. I got my frame done. The fire going still. Fish up here. Kind of drying in the sun and the smoke. I don't know where Amos is, but he's got his bow. He's got a bit of tension on it now. So I'm glad the project's coming along for him. And uh, that's one thing about Amos, he's, uh, he's skilled at making primitive hunting weapons. Throwing sticks, primitive bow like what he's working on. And that's going to be cool if he gets something with that. Like, all he's basically allowed to hunt is grouse, like game birds. But he really wants to get one with his homemade arrows, homemade bow. But that's his specialty. Primitive uh, weapons. Oh, I'm just going to heat up a little bit of coffee from this morning. I've been working pretty hard on that trap. Didn't quite go as smooth as I wanted. But it's working. I got two things to do to it still. I gotta put a stop stick and a trigger. It'd be nice to figure out a, a way to have a sponge bath in one of these pools. Might have to just use the creek even though it's cooler water. Hair's feeling pretty bad. Yeah, could use a sponge bath. I think this will work for my trigger. Got a little give in it, the uh, stop stick, but you just grab another one while I'm out on the beach here because you gotta crawl over the logs every time if it doesn't work. Towards the water. I can hear my whole trap creaking. <laughs> That's a lot of tension. I can see the flex in the cedar, so that might be tight enough. I don't want to break them. Okay, I think we're all right. I hear creaking, but I don't think it's going to break. Snap! I was going to put a stop stick, but I don't need it because this is going to stop it. You can see a face in here, like a Sasquatch think I can use something like this even it's got a little knot here I think that'll work for my trigger and basically I want this little nub to go in here and hold it yeah, I gotta go deeper.
I don't know, I mean, that's holding pretty good. I'm just gonna test it. Let's see. See, yeah, it's pretty touchy. Okay, it's holding. I want it fairly touchy. So then my fishing line will tie onto here and I will leave extra line at the back to tie the trigger. I can uh, tie a loop, just a loop even, in the fishing line that goes underneath the back of the trigger. So when the fish comes, wham. Beauty. Check on my radish patch. It's hard to say if we'll get any radishes, but I hope so. You hungry, Finn? Most he had to go and have a nap. He's worn out, he says, and it's not that we're not eating, it's just everything, whether it's berries or fish, is such a long way to go. There's not any berries on the beach, can't fish that side of the ocean. Weather's a little better today. We put up with all the rain, but man, that was worth it to get the fire ban lifted. So now we're styling for the last two weeks. I did come here a couple of weeks prior to picking MOS up at the airport, but and I had that bed bug situation, which basically ruined the entire trip. So I never did scout the location. So we were kind of scouting it when we got here, which was took a little while to find a spot. What's this then? Eat that. Get those berries. Eat this. Eat it. Eat it. There you go. Finn likes berries too. Take some tender ones from the bottom. See, they're dripping, which usually means they're fresh. As soon as I break them, they start dripping. So they're really good. There's a centipede in that one. Oh, as I drop it. Well, I got no huckleberries, so I may as well put mushrooms in here. Yeah. The huckleberries just, oh, I don't know, they're few and far between. So I went to the stump, collected some more of the sulfur shelf, and uh, that'll be a nice treat again. I think I picked all the huckleberries through here. The uh, bushes, I don't know, the bears are getting them too, I'm sure. But uh, there just isn't a lot of huckleberries anymore right here so or right, right here so this is a nice board i think i'm gonna take this no stop biting at it then sun drying some fish Good. And some soup. And a fire. Nice. I'd like to reset that mouse trap, but I don't really like the way the one rock sits. Maybe I'll have to fix that. Be nice to maybe I can even catch a mouse. Can't seem to catch fish. Let's see. You 
can't eat the fish, man. You have dog food. These are good. Not as good as last time though, eh? They're starting to get corky too. Yeah. Just looking at the smoked fish here. Boy, it looks pretty good. I gotta have a piece of that. Look at that. That is so good. Done just right. Doesn't get any better. Man, you sure did a good job of smoking this fish. That's awesome. You'd think the mosquitoes would be finished soon. Yeah, they should. You know, it's September, man. Oh, yeah, it was hot. Yeah, I was uh, sweating out there. Yeah, then. We had our mushrooms, a little bit of fish. Feeling pretty good. Really towards the end of the night like this, like it's just about dark really start to feel a little tired i gotta stretch out um, i got my trap done i'm happy about that anyway i've had enough i'll see you in the morning morning we have a little bit of an issue we don't have any charged batteries anymore the power pack is dead and um, this is the last battery i have for this camera we're just uh, out of batteries for all the cameras. So we have to pack that big power pack up to the truck and find a place that we can charge it again to finish the rest of the series. You know, we're killing batteries off just getting footage of Elmos uh, reeling in fish. <laughs> I'm just kidding there, but uh, yeah, he's caught a lot of fish. Just awkward, eh? All you gotta do is step on the wrong log and lose your footing. Well, we made it about 100 yards. Get it, Finn. Do your stick. <laughs> oh, man. Eat all the berries you can, you're gonna need them. It's not playtime. So we found a nice man here at the Holberg store that's letting us use the power to charge our gear.
so we're hiking back to camp here it took hours to charge the battery pack so that we have batteries now we got batteries but it's 100 percent charged it's almost dark now and as you can see it's so dark on the trail that we can't even see turn the light on you can kind of see the trail Right Found a snack on the way. Yeah, you like munch berries. I'm not big on them, but it's actually amazing when you go through the thick forest how dark it is. I needed the light. Now you get out kind of in the open, you can actually see a little bit. The thick rainforest like this is really interesting. You got puddles of water everywhere. Slippery on the roots yeah you look pretty Finn you look pretty so I don't know we're thinking maybe we just for the last week and a half go to a different location where the seas are calmer can use the kayak and still have success and not have to hike like five miles a day it's killing us, man. The, high, the tide is really high today, and we're not even in full moon yet. But as you can see, it's the Pacific Ocean. It's pretty rough, man. And, and you know what I heard is it's a pretty big ocean. <laughs> I heard it's a big <laughs> one, huh? I mean, look at these waves coming in, folks. I mean, look at that. This is a, so how are you going to use a kayak out there? I didn't think it would take all day to get that thing charged and everything, eh? Now we just had a surge that came right up into here. We haven't even hit like the highest tides yet. It looks to us like where we have our camp could start and get dangerous. Um, we might get flooded out. Uh, it's starting to look like that because We've never seen the tide this high. And obviously the logs that we're camped at are there for a reason. Hey, Amos? <laughs> yeah. Right? So like something put them there and it's probably the ocean. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so we're thinking, ay, 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 man. We, we don't want to get swamped by a big storm one night and have ocean water coming over the logs where we're camped and just crashing all our gear, our hammocks, scrambling for high ground in the middle of the night. I think it's safer if we find somewhere different. We came back, wanted some salmon to eat and um, check the smoker. We've had the fish smoking in there for a few days and all the fish was gone. We think it's probably that mink or marten. <laughs> Don't laugh, it's not funny. Something took all the fish out of the smoker. Every little scrap. You know, we're not supposed to eat, I guess, just the wildlife. So now we're back to square one, no food. And even with the tarp down, something got in there. It's got to be an animal like that. It wasn't a mouse that packed all the fish off. We thought it was fine because it's been fine for a couple days. And obviously we come back tonight, it was not as fine as we thought. And that, you know what, that was some of the best smoked fish I've ever had. I almost spent two days smoking that fish. Like he just did such an awesome job of that. Talk about disappointing, right? And there was a whole pile in there. And it's every scrap of it gone. And oh yeah, here's the other thing. We wanted to kayak down this river route. And when we were charging the power pack, we were told that you can't fish for spring salmon in that area. It's closed. So now we have to find a different spot we can't do the original canoe trip we had planned 
because you can't fish in that area for salmon so but I mean this is the way life is right you know like life is not a box of chocolates like you don't just go somewhere and everything works out when you're trying to live off the land and trying to procure your own food procure is that the right word but I love Amos's attitude I mean he's such a positive man you know great spirit what point is there in getting mad at the situation the critters took the food so but it's been an awesome trip man I hope you're enjoying the scenery you know I hope you're enjoying all of the adventure with us because it has been exciting and fun there's been frustrating times but that's you're gonna have them you're gonna have the frustrating times because you know you're out here for a long time and a lot of times things just don't go right like they did today i'm greg ovens i'll see you in the morning amos rodriguez survival and ovens rocky mountain bushcraft are brought to you by fowler's makery mischief studios check out our shop here and for the next video in the series hit the link here and don't forget to subscribe to amos's channel and ovens rocky mountain bushcraft here and thanks for watching the 30 day survival challenge Vancouver Island.